Hey everyone, Jessica here from JewelryTutorialHQ.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this leather wrap crystal necklace. The supplies that you're going to need are some E6000 adhesive, a toothpick or two, a crystal point bead. It can have a drilled hole or not. And this is optional. This is a small cabochon. You could also use a flat backed crystal. You will need some leather you'll need about 34 35 inches and the thinner the better this is about 1.5 millimeters thick that is turquoise suede and you'll also need a pair of scissors and i'll try to put some more information about supplies for you in the description below the video before you start you might want to clean off your stones using some rubbing alcohol just to get rid of any residue or grease from your fingers so do this with both stones and try not to touch them too much after you've cleaned them. That will really help the glue stick a lot better. The first thing we're gonna do is apply a little bit of the E6000 using the toothpick to one end of the leather, just about the last three quarters of an inch of the leather. And just kind of spread it on there. Try to make sure that you get out to the edges and cover as much surface area on that little piece of leather as possible. Then you're gonna stick it to one of the sides of the crystal. Then we are going to attach the other end. Before you glue it down, you want to make sure that your leather is not twisted since this necklace is all in one piece. And I will have another option for you if you'd like to make a shorter necklace using a clasp. I'll have another option for you, a tutorial that I'll link to at the end of the video or in the description. So then you're going to do the same on the other side. Don't worry too much about that glue oozing out because it's going to help this other piece stick. So now we're going to cut a separate piece of leather that's about five to six inches long. And again, putting a little bit of glue on the end of that piece of leather. And we're going to wrap this around. So we're going to secure those ends in place. And we're going to give it a prettier finish. So I'm just deciding which I want to be the back of my necklace because the ends of the leather are going to show on the back. And then just wrap this piece around but I think I want to put a little bit more glue on here first. I'm going to roll that around. Now I would be careful about getting too much glue on the front of the necklace or on the leather that's going to be on the front of the necklace because if it seeps through then you're going to have dark spots on your leather. So once you've wrapped around as many times as you like and figure out where your end is going to be, make sure you end on the back again. Then you can add a little bit more adhesive to the, the end of the leather and then stick that down. This is really a pretty easy necklace. Easy, cute, and quick. I like it. Okay, so you're just going to want to hold that down for 20 to 30 seconds. Let that set in a little bit. At this point, if you've got any residue on the crystal, you can just scrape it off using a toothpick. It also comes off pretty easily after it's completely dry. So if you want to apply a cabochon or a flat back crystal, you can just use the same adhesive and place it where you want it and hold it down about 20 to 30 seconds. I would really suggest leaving this to set for at least 24 hours before you wear it. I know that's kind of a pain, but it is important because the glue takes a little while to cure. You don't want it falling apart on you. So that really is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I mentioned before, if you'd like an alternative way to make this necklace with a clasp, I've got that tutorial for you right here in the bottom right hand corner. And I will also include the link for you in the description below the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.